This is the best of the week on Relevant Radio. Let's go to Jessica now in Santa Ana. Good morning, oh. Jessica. Um, I just had wanted to comment on the whole abortion topic. Okay. So personally, I was pregnant. Um, my baby was no longer viable. There was no heartbeat. Okay. Um, say I lived in a state where you could not get an abortion. At what point is it okay to end that pregnancy? Well, th- thank you for explaining how it was for you. Um, you're not really ending a pregnancy if the fetus has died. So if the unborn child at whatever stage of uh-huh. development dies, you're not ending the pregnancy. The pregnancy already ended. What you would be doing would be evacuating the remains of the now dead child. So the soul has gone on to in, into eternity and the body remains. So a DNC, for example, would be a way to evacuate the remains. Now, I know that in medical literature that can be referred to as an abortion, but that's not an abortion in the sense that the church means it, which is the intentional killing of the unborn child. That's obviously not what happened in your case. So even in those states where there is a ban on abortion, uh, that does not extend to things like a DNC for a miscarriage. That's not an abortion in the sense that those laws prohibit abortions. It prohibits, rather, the intentional killing of a child, an unborn child, while it's still alive, he or she. You see the distinction? Yes, yes. Yeah, and I think that the pro-abortion people have tried really hard to scare women into thinking that if you have a miscarriage, well, then you're stuck because you'll go to jail if you go in and have a DNC, and that's not true. Right, right. Now, the other thing I I, I really don't understand is um, why a man should comment on a woman having rights to have an abortion. I'm pro-life. I personally don't think I'd Mm -hmm. ever be able to have an abortion myself, but I just don't understand why a man has the right to comment on that when nobody tells a man they cannot have, you know, a vasectomy or they cannot transition into Mm -hmm. a woman. Well, there's something that's unique about that scenario that you raised, Jessica, and that is that it requires a man to even get pregnant. So the man, the child is as much the man's child as it is the woman's child, even though the unborn child is living inside the woman's body. That's unique to women. But the child is just as much the man's child, as I said. So that in itself, number one, gives him standing, even though his standing is not recognized in courts in this country anyway. I think that's immoral Uh and wrong, that the will of the father is ignored. You know, that's a bad law, if you ask me. But furthermore, you don't have to personally experience something or be able to personally experience something to say that it's wrong. So in a way, it would be like saying, it's not an exact analogy, but unless you've murdered somebody, you can't say that murder is wrong. I mean, obviously not. I mean, you can, even if you've never done the thing itself, you can still acknowledge that it's wrong. And we could take the same approach to really anything that's wrong. We still have a duty to acknowledge something as being immoral and stand against it. And and there are many such things as an example. So let's not forget, too, that in 1973, the Supreme Court decision that thankfully was overturned, Roe versus Wade, that was a court of all men who gave right. their opinion. And the women who like abortion were more than happy to listen to those men They argued that those men had a right to speak on the issue, but how odd that they say that a man doesn't have a right to speak on that issue if he has the opposite opinion. So it shows the inconsistency or the incoherence of that kind of argument by saying, well, if a man agrees with it, then his opinion is okay and good, but if he disagrees with it, then he's not allowed to have an opinion. That doesn't really make sense. I, I was not aware of that. Yeah, now I understand. Does it make sense? Yeah. Uh, you know what? Have you signed up for the relevantradio.com slash fast for the fast for life yet, Jessica? Uh, I have not, not yet. Not yet. I would encourage you to do so. And the reason is because okay. we have an ebook on how to respond to common pro-abortion arguments. And it's free. It'll come right to your email. 
And I think you'll really enjoy it because it'll give you a lot more of this kind of info. Okay, I'll go okay. ahead and do that. Super. Yeah, just go to relevantradio.com slash fast, F-A-S-T. And all you need to do is tell us where to email this booklet to you and it'll come right to your email box. Okay, sounds good. Okay, great talking with you. And I do appreciate your comments. Um, an important topic, that's for sure. That'll never stop being an important topic. Like what you just heard? Share it with your family and friends. And thanks for listening.